Tonight, flags are flying at half staff across Rhode Island in memory of Sue Kachiri. We learned this afternoon the former first lady had passed away at the age of 76. Tonight, people are remembering her kindness and generosity. They were high school sweethearts. Suzanne and Don Kachiri were married just weeks after they graduated from college more than 50 years ago, had four children and more than a dozen grandchildren. A devout Catholic, Mrs. Kachiri moved to Jamaica with her husband and young family in the early 1980s when Don Kachiri worked for Catholic Relief Services. State Representative Marcia Wranglin Vassal tweeted her condolences, remembering how Sue Kachiri was her freshman biology professor in Kingston, Jamaica. Sue Kachiri was often by her husband's side during his two terms in office from 2003 to 2011. Many are remembering Sue Kachiri for her activism. She was an advocate for the pro-life movement, breast cancer awareness, and fought for heating assistance for low-income families. Governor Gina Raimondo said in a statement, quote, Sue Kachiri Sherry was a smart, passionate, and caring first lady who served Rhode Island with grace and dignity. Rhode Island Republican Party Chair Brandon Bell tweeted, Sue was one of the most generous and altruistic people I've ever had the privilege of knowing. North Providence Police Chief David Tacoyan, who was head of Governor Kachiri's security detail and longtime driver, says the former first lady was always concerned about others. He told Eyewitness News, quote, if anyone had the good fortune to meet her, she was a vibrant, uplifting person, and I will miss her dearly. And we just received a statement from the Kachiri family a short time ago, thanking everyone for their thoughts and prayers. Governor Don Kachiri says in part, quote, Sue was my life partner and best friend, my most trusted advisor, and the heart and soul of our family. Now the family says calling hours will be next Monday at the Hill Funeral Home in East Greenwich. Her funeral mass will be Tuesday morning at Our Lady of Mercy Church in East Greenwich.